Here I have a water bottle that has no material applied to it. Water bottles are often created using either metal, like stainless steel, or a plastic material, like high-density polyethylene. I will apply each of these materials to the water bottle, beginning with stainless steel. The material of the part is listed in the Feature Manager tree. Currently, this part has no material applied to it, as shown by the text not specified. If I right-click on it in the Feature Manager tree, a list of options become available. If I select the first option, Edit Material, it will prompt the Material dialog box, and it is set to the Properties tab. This lists all of the available materials that are preloaded into the SOLIDWORKS database. I'll click Close for now. The second option, Configure Material, will bring up the Modify Configurations dialog box, which allows different materials to be applied to different part configurations. Additional configurations can also be created here. I'll click Cancel for now. Manage Favorites controls which materials are shown below for quick access in this right-click menu. If I click Manage Favorites, it will bring up the Materials dialog box as well. However, it pre-selects the Favorites tab, where the materials can be chosen and arranged in the list. If certain material types are used frequently in your designs, such as a specific plastic or metal, it is good to add them to this list to make them quickly accessible for future use. I'll click Close to exit the dialog box. To add stainless steel as the material type for the water bottle, I'll right-click on Material in the Feature Manager tree. Click Edit Material, and in the Materials tree on the left, I'll make sure to expand the Steel Library. A list of various steel types appear, and I'll click on the type AISI304. The table on the right populates with all of the material properties characterizing this metal, such as the material's elastic modulus, the density of the material, its tensile strength, and the material's thermal conductivity. These values can be adjusted when a custom material can be created, which I will cover a little later in this lesson. For now, I'll click the Apply button at the bottom of the dialog box, and the material is applied. I'll click Close to exit the Materials dialog box. Notice that the material is now listed as AISI304 in the Feature Manager tree, indicating that this is the currently applied material. The appearance of the part also changes in the graphics area according to the material type. I'll click on the View Settings drop-down menu in the Heads Up toolbar, and enable Real View Graphics to give a better depiction of how the appearance is affected by choosing a material. The part now has a polished, metallic appearance. Now I would like to switch the material to a high-density polyethylene. Instead of simply swapping out the material type, I'll add a new configuration with the polyethylene material. I'll right-click on the material in the Feature tree. Click Configure Material, and the Modify Configurations dialog box appears. In this window, I'll type the name Plastic as the name for the new configuration. And in the Material column, I'll click on the drop-down arrow. Scroll down and select Browse More and the Materials dialog box appears. I'll need to minimize the Steel folder to view other available material libraries. Now I can see the folder labeled Plastics, and when I expand the folder, there is a material listed called PE High Density. I'll click on this material, click Apply, and click Close to exit the Materials dialog box. Now this material is set for this new configuration. I'll click OK to exit the Modify Configurations dialog box. Now if I go to the Configurations tab, the new configuration Plastic is listed, and when I double-click on it, the Parts Appearance updates in the Graphics area. I'll switch back to the Feature tree, and the material is set to PE High Density for this configuration. Although SOLIDWORKS provides an extensive library of preloaded materials, it may be necessary to apply a material to a part that is not found in the Materials Library. In this case, a custom material can be created and added to the library. This is done by copying a material to a custom library, and then changing the copy's properties. To begin creating a custom material, I'll right-click the material in the Feature tree, and select Edit Material. I want to create a material that is similar to the high-density polyethylene set for the part, but with a lower thermal conductivity. 
So I'll right click on PE high density in the list and select copy. Or alternatively, I could click on the material in the list and press Ctrl C on the keyboard. Now I'll minimize the plastics folder in the materials tree. And at the bottom, there is a folder titled custom materials. I'll expand this folder and I'll right click on the folder plastic and select paste from the menu. Now the material appears on this list. I'll rename this material by right clicking on it in the menu and selecting rename. I'll call this material PE Reduced. Now that the part is renamed, notice that the value column in the table is not shown in gray, meaning that these values can be edited. In this case, I need to refine the thermal conductivity specific to this plastic, so I'll click on the value for the thermal conductivity and enter a value of 0 0.432. There is also a drop-down arrow at the right of the cell, which has options for a temperature dependent and link parameter. Now that I've changed the thermal conductivity value, the plastic is properly modified, and I can click Apply at the bottom, and then click Close to exit. Now the material updates in the Feature Manager tree and is set to PE Reduced. SolidWorks provides an extensive library of material types that can be added to parts. The Edit Material dialog is used to add and edit the material associated with a part. The material is used for calculations that rely on material properties, including mass properties and Simulation Express. Each material also updates the appearance of the part in the graphics area, which is enhanced by turning on Real View Graphics. The material can vary by configuration, and custom materials can be created using a preloaded material as a template. In this lesson, I will add two different materials to a water bottle. Once the first material type is added, I'll create an additional configuration and add the second material. Then I will walk through how to create a custom material, adjust the material properties, and then apply the custom material to the part.